welcome to the Friend of Deal Makes channel. My name's Fran. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while, what with Vlogmas and Christmas and everything else, but welcome to 2023. Um, this is my channel where I generally talk about what I've been making over the last couple of weeks. Primarily, it's knitting. I do sometimes do some crochet, sometimes do some sewing, but mainly it's knitting. So, I can't remember what episode it is, but I'll put it down here. Uh, but welcome. Um, if you're new, a new subscriber or new to the channel, welcome. Um, this is a safe space. Everyone's welcome. Um, please chat in the comments if you want to. Please like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see some more. Today is going to be a bit of a whip roundup. So I've gone through my trolley and I have looked at what I've got. And we're going to go through and see what we can finish, if we need to frog anything. And basically, we're clearing up. Okay, so if you would like to find me elsewhere, you can find me online as at Franny Do Makes on Instagram and on Ravelry. And also, if you want to see any show notes, information about the dyers, the um, pattern uh, designers, or the producers of the project bags or anything like that all that information will be linked on the website which is www.frannydo.co.uk if you do want to contact me you can contact me at fran at frannydo.co.uk i think that's what it is but that'll be down in the comments uh, in the description bar below um so yeah strap yourself in it might be a long one and let's get going so, oh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, I hope you've had a lovely break. Um, this is my last day before I go back to work. Um, I've got lots of stuff to do today, I've got the tree to take down, I've got the house to tidy, I've got washing to do, and I've got this to film. So I thought I'd get this done first and then I can crack on with the rest of the stuff when I've finished. It's a chilly old day here, I live in Leeds in um, the north of England in West Yorkshire. It's a cold, miserable, rainy January day. <sighs> so let's cheer ourselves up. Let's get ourselves a cup of tea. Let's, or coffee, or something stronger if it's that time of day. Um, yeah, and let's have a chat. So I am using my amazing new mug that was bought by me, bought for me, so I should say, by my darling sister. So that's if I'm sitting, I'm knitting, which is obviously perfect. I've got a peach cobbler tea from Bird and Blend in my cup. And I think that's everything introduction wise. Yeah, so let's get going. So um, this is in no particular order. This is just stuff that is here. I don't have any finished objects, I don't think. No, I don't. Um, I've mainly cast on things and ignored stuff that was on the trolley, so let's let's give it a go. So, um, I'll show you my newest cast on first. So, this is um, a Le Pouf cardigan by, what's her name? It's Hedgehog Fibres Beta. I'll put it down here. Can't remember her name. Um, and I am using a fade kit that I got, was it last Christmas or maybe even the Christmas before? I've had it a while. Anyway, it's a fade kit from Pixie Yarn and the colourway is the Barefoot Fade. So, I've started holding the first colour double, so it's fingering weight held double, it's a free pattern. So I've started with the first two colours here. The first colour, sorry, held double, um, which I'm going to um, go until I divide, I think, and then I'll start the fade going downwards. So that's that. Um, so I'm using a four millimetre needle. I managed to achieve gauge when I first did my gauge swatch, which is here. There we go. So this is the first colour, so I'm going from the inside and the outside of that ball to hold it double. Then I will fade in, so basically to create the fade effect of the cardigan, 
you hold them double uh, so you hold two of this and then you drop one strand and you hold one strand of this then two of this and then th one of this and one of the next one if you see what I mean oh, sorry I keep getting notifications so that's the second colour third colour is this one fourth colour is this one and this is the final colour, this dark one. Um, I don't think I can really hold them all together. <laughs> There's too many balls. Anyway, so that's what's my newest work in progress. Um, because this pattern has been on my queue to knit for two years, I think. It's been on my make nine for two years. I'm not doing a make nine this year. It's too much pressure and there's so many things that I want to knit and then something else props up and then I want to knit that. Um, so that's living in this corduroy bag which my sister also bought me I think last year or the year before. Which says, you need this one, have a nice trip. I don't know where it's from. But it's nice and big, corduroy, I don't even think it's a project bag. Um, but it has two pockets in there and it holds quite a lot um so yeah pixie yarn fade i started that on the first it's merino nylon fingering weight and as i said it's called the barefoot fade she does a few fade kits in different sizes so you can get um 10 grams i think 20 50 and the 100 gram schemes as well so that's number one that's a work an active work in progress another one so this is my um the next one i'm really liking that pattern by the way it's really simple it's just a raglan increase and then you split and then i think you keep going and then it has quite a poofy sleeve hence the poof so yeah i'm glad i'm finally knitting that up it's been in the in the queue for a long time so next up is my um patchwork blanket which i'm using all my scraps of 10 grams or less or five grams because i can get five one square out of just under five grams so i am trying to do a square a day i have joined the lonely knitters discord group so if you watch the Lonely Knitter, which is Laura, um, she set up a Discord group um, where you can chat on there. So part of that, we're doing a square a day um, sort of knit along. Very loose, obviously. Uh, but yeah, try and get something done, a square a day, a hexagon a day, some people are doing, or just a row on a blanket. Um, so that's what we're doing. So since the new year, I've added this one this one this one this one this one this one and this one so i'm not really going in rows more of like in a square um and eventually i'll probably rectangle it off but that's where we're at my squares are 25 so this is the um i should say it's the pattern I mean, you can get loads of different patterns from different places, but I've used the Knitted Patchwork Recipe by Martine Ellis. Um, but I have done some amendments that I saw were made on Cherie, um, who is Ollie and Bella, on her podcast. She mentioned what she was doing to make a nice, neat edge on the squares, because otherwise it's a bit bumpy and it's hard to do the pick up, and you do a lot of picking up on this one. So my squares are 25 stitches by 25 stitches and I am using a 2.5 Knit Pro Symphony circular needle, you know the, the wooden ones. Um, I generally don't like that for socks, it's a bit too flimsy. But it works for this so I'm using that. Um, right so at the start of every row I knit the first stitch through the back loop 
and the last stitch of every row I slip the last stitch with my yarn in front so that's how I create that nice slipped stitch border which is easier for the pickup on the next one so there we go so that's how that's looking so far so hopefully if I can continue to try and do a square a day or a couple of squares a day and then none one the other day so I've done a few squares in one day I think and then there you go so I'm loving that it's looking really nice and neat and tidy and it's nice to see all the colours from all the different projects let me just stop leaning so far forward you can't see my head is that better? oh what's on the wall I didn't do it oh I'm sorry we normally start with what's on the wall. I mean, you've seen it before. This is the um, Twists and Turns by Stephen West. It was this year's mystery knit along. Um, the yarn I used was Cascade Yarns Heritage for the dark blue. That's in navy. Um, Fibre Spates Vivacious for ply. In Shoreline for the light blue and the Bright orange is um, Koopnit Sock Yeah in Argon. So that's what's on the wall. So that's the second sort of active work in progress that I've done some work on over the Christmas period. So that's number two. The next one, which is active. If you watch the Vlogmas series, you'll have seen me working on this because this is my advent knit. So my advent was from Ducky Darling's Yarns and it was a Wizard of Oz inspired <coughs> colourway. <coughs> so I am making the Festive Cheer Cowl by Yarnia Designs. I'm doing the large size, um, which is... 10 grams of each colour or thereabouts um, it's a paid for pattern I believe so I won't tell you too much about it but um, it's a provisional cast on you start with and you knit a big tube with some mosaic knitting in between and then once you get to the end you join it up and you have a nice cowl like a double wrap kind of cowl so I have done that's colour one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I'm on I've just finished colour 12 and I need to do the next bit so I'm pretty much halfway so these are the colours which I think work lovely together I wouldn't necessarily have picked these colours myself they're not my normal colour scheme but I think they look really nice all together and I'm really pleased at the um with the mosaic parts I've not I've managed to not pull it too tight so it's laying quite straight the edges it's not puckering in too much um I think it'll only need a light blocking I don't want it to get too much bigger um so I mean if you want me to I can go through other colorways so the first one was Kansas the second is Tornado. This one, this purpley one, is Miss Gulch. I'm going to move my tea before I dangle it in it. This one, brown one, is Toto. This is Dorothy, of course. This one is... Scarecrow. That one. This one is the Rusty Tin Man, or just Tin Man. This one is the Lion. This is Yellow Brick Road. That one is Emerald City. This one is Into the Woods, or Into the Forest, I think. And that's the Witch. The contrast colour that I'm using is a grey yarn from Somerset Yarns which is charcoal 
um, which is this one, which I used for my adventuresome wrap last year. So that's where we're at. I tend to pause a bit when I get to the mosaic bit and then when I can get, then it's just knit, 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 so it's quite nice. So I'm doing 23 rows of the each colour. Um, I don't know what my gauge is, I've not tried it. I'm using what are my needles? Are they threes? Yeah, I'm using three millimetre needles. The pattern was I'm gonna change that because I'm a card I've put three point two five. The pattern says three point two five millimetre, but when I cast that on and did a few rows it was very Loosey goosey. I didn't like the look of it and I'm much happier with this. I think I knit quite loose um, and so that's that. So yeah that's all you need to know about that. It's a lovely pattern, well written, easy to follow um, and a great way to showcase your um, colours of your advent because it's just showcasing the colours. Brilliant. So that's that. That's living in this big um, ball bag, which I got from the wee window on Etsy, I think. It's quite nice. Oh, put my card in. Oh, somebody asked about the project cards the other day um, in the comments, and I told them where to find them. So, but basically, I've designed them myself. So if you want to get some printed up yourself, you can download the file from the website, which I'll link down below. There's a little tab at the top that says free downloads. So there's a few sort of patterns there. There's like my um, vanilla sock recipe. There's a, and there's two colors of this. There's this one and there's a blue green one. So basically you can just download the files. I think they're PDFs and I get mine printed with Hello Print, but any kind of printing like Vista Print or any of those, um, and just I just get them printed double sided on postcards. So there you go, dead easy. Um, and there's just enough there to track everything that you need to track. Like when you so it's got the project name, the designer, the size. The start date, the yarn that you've used, brand weight, fibre and colour weight, your needle or hook size, the gauge that you're doing. I also have a place for swatches, so I have a, a hole punch, like a single hole punch, which I will put a hole in there like that and then um, tie, attach a piece of the yarn so I know which colour weight I've used. Uh, and then I have a place for notes and then the yardage and the date that I finished. There you go. So I keep that in my project bag so I know what I'm doing. So that's my advent project. Oh, I have another advent knit. Right now, I've not been very, I must say, I've, I've been a bit slack with this one. So this is my 24 days socks that I was also using my my um, advent calendar for and then it's tangled so I'm knitting these concurrently so I've got to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 so I've got like 5 so something 6 left to do um, so this is the 24 Days Socks by Emma Potter, Potter and Bloom. 24 Days Socks. She also has a cowl that you can do. Um, and you just do one colour and then uh, an in-between colour. So I've just used this grey that I had in my stash. Um, I'm only going to make shorties for these, so I need to just get cracking. Um, I don't know if maybe I'm around... No, I'm not near the heel yet. I don't know why I just got bored of doing it so um, yes they need to be finished so these are going to get put in the pile of in-progress whips 
and they're going to get finished. So there's another one. Right, so the next ones coming up are all languishers. So these are the ones that we're deciding whether we're keeping or we're plugging. So, first up, oh, uh, this is um, a project bag from Pixie Yarns. I don't think she has them in very often, but that was a Christmas one. Right, so first up in this little pyramid bag, which has pop bottles on it from the little grey girl, is a pair of socks. Not a pair, I have one sock finished. So this is the pattern. Let me get a blocker and put it on so you can see it. This pattern is called The Shallows and it's by The Crazy Sock Lady, Kay Litton. So it's got this kind of, it looks kind of like pebbles, I think. It's just knits and pearls, just a pattern on the front of the sock and then the back is plain. Ah, I know why I didn't continue with these. I'd done a different heel to what I normally do. I'd done a new depth heel. Um, which I struggled with and had some problems with around this area. So I don't know whether I might just carry on, do another one. Do I want to do another one? I might just not do that heel because it bothered me. Um, I'm, I'm going to try it again um, with a single colour sock rather than... Sorry, that's jangling. A single colour sock rather than a contrast heel. I'm not going to rip it out because I've done one. So yeah, I'm not saying I'm going to be starting it this week or anything, but I'm going to keep it and do it another time. So the yarn that I've used here is um, by Lockwood Fibres. This was one of the Mystery Yarn Clubs from 2021 which was a Sea Creatures inspired um, club. Um, so this one was from December. This was the December colourway. So that's that. So yeah, I don't think I changed anything in the pattern other than I did. Oh, I did it toe up obviously and not cuffed down, but I don't think it makes a difference. But you can see that pattern there. It's quite nice. I quite like it. But yeah, I'm going to do the next one just with a different, a normal face lips kiss heel, I think. So there we go. That's staying in there. Looking at what I've got here, I don't think I'm going to be frogging anything, to be fair. Um, right, next up is a Christmas sock. Oh, so I was making these for my sister, um, but obviously I haven't given them to her, so these will have to be for next year now. Um, so this is just a 3 by one ribbed sock using the candy cane colourway from West Yorkshire Spinners. Just 3 by one contrast is also West Yorkshire Spinners. It's not the quite the same red. Um, it's called Cherry Cherry Drop maybe? I can't remember. Anyway. Put it on there. No I've not. So it's a 64 stitch sock on 2.5 millimetre needles. I did a Turkish cast on. Knit one row. Turkish cast on, increase the 64 stitches, knit one row and then change to the main colour. Knitted a row plain and then started the ribbing. So you don't have that. Sometimes you get it like jumps a bit when you've done it. Fish lips kiss heel I believe. 
yeah um, and I just need to finish the ribbing on one sock so that's that so that's living in this beautiful Christmas bag from Paula who is stitched by Mrs D I love this bag so much there's that so that's another one oh put the card back in that is I need to get it finished but I'm not going to be in a rush because it's not it's going to need them till next year now oh. Four more to go. This one is another sock. What's that now? One, two, three. F this is four. It's five socks. This one is um, my Halloween. <laughs> my Halloween yarn that I got from Leigh Family Yarns. So um, this was called. Which is stockings, sis? Which is stockings? It's Mary, so like um, from Hocus Pocus. It's like the Sanderson sisters' colours. So this is Mary. So it came with this main colour and then three mini skeins: the purple, the black, and then this orange. So I had got to here. Then can you see? Here, there's like bumps just there. Hello there. And um, where it's been stuck on the needles because I've left it too long. So I thought I'd best get it knit up. So I've just knit it in a tube and I'm going to do an afterthought heel. Um, so I'll toe up again and just two by two normal rib and an elastic bind off. Um, yeah. So they'll just need a cuff put, a heel put in at some point and that's quite nice because it was just knit, knit, knit. So I'll maybe keep these for, you know, you know when you've got just, when you're doing something else. Vanilla knitting. So this, I'm using my Leica Driftwood, is it a 2.25? It's a 2.25 needle. And 64 stitches, which makes my best fitting sock. That's living in my beaker bag from Amelia X Joy. Excuse me. Oops, got tangled. There. Oh, that has a pin on it because it's witchy. So that's that. So that's Halloween. They'll get finished at some point. Next up, oh, this was so close to finishing, but I wanted to get my um, Advent knit started for Advent. This is my Magpie Tendency. Which I have cast off. I'm so close to finishing. <laughs> so the body's done. I just need to do the sleeves so this won't take long at all to finish I mean it needs blocking crazily um, but that's it it's using some bobble yarn from truly hooked which is in the colorway light fury I don't know which is the front which is the back it must be that way is it that? I mean I don't think it matters um, it doesn't look like anything at the moment because it's not blocked but there you go and it's got some fluorescent pink con uh, contrast, which is from Botanical Yarn, which I used in my shawlography. So yeah, let me just check the pattern. So I've bound it off. So this is the Magpie Tendencies by Skin Anigans. The pattern's good, but because there's so many options, it's a bit hard sometimes to know where you're at, which bit, if you're doing 
what sleeves and whatnot. I can't find the sleeves in stock, can you? Oh, here we go. Um, so, short sleeve. I don't even think I need to actually knit anything. I just need to pick up a knit, purl, work one repeat of the pattern and then bind off with an I-cord bind off so it's nothing at all really so if I maybe prioritise this I can probably get it finished by next podcast because there's barely anything to do so let's put that in the priority pile <clears throat> with that I'm using my chow goose 10.5 millimeter needles. What's that doing in there? It needs to come out. So there you go. So there we go. Yeah, let's prioritize that and get it finished. Because that'll take what an evening. There we go. Right. Last two. One is an ongoing. Which is, oh hang on, I've one more knitting one. So this is, <laughs> these are my dad's socks. I've done one sock, he's tried it on. I just need to cast on the second one. Which I might have to get going because, you know, it's cold. They might as well have them while it's cold. So these are the DRK Everyday Socks by Andrea Mallory. They're a bit bigger than my blocker, so I think this is why I'm putting it on. So they are a top construction, it's a ribbed sock, it has a flegal heel, which is really fun. Flegal heel, and just ribbing up to the top. I'm using Opal Yarn in My favourite cuddly toy, I think. The, yeah, my favourite cuddly toy is the pattern. It's just a self striping by Opal. I split the balls into two um, 50 grams. So I've got the other one there. I just need to start it. But it's, uh, it's a two by two ribs. Just a constant two by two ribbing. Which is not my favourite thing in the world, but. I quite enjoyed doing the first one. It was quite meditative, I thought, but uh, that's on a 2.25 needle. I've not put what size I'm making. I've been very lackadaisical there, haven't I? Anyway, that needs finishing also. Right. Okay, the last one is not knitting, it's cross stitch. This has been going for absolutely for ages. So it's the Jolly Robin Cross Stitch by Body Fred Threads. I mean, I've just got the bottom to do, but it's white. So I think the reason why I've not got this done is because I need good light for this. And it's gloomy and horrible at the moment, even when it's the middle of the day. So... Let me see what I've got left to do. Right, so I've just got the legs and a few little bits and bobs around here. Which I don't think, I think I've maybe done all the white. So yeah, I've done all the white, so that's good. So yeah, legs and then um, the, like the back stitch going round it which makes the nice, makes it pop basically, these black bits. So I'll get to that when I get to it. it, I'm not in a rush to finish it, it's just what it is. But it will eventually go up in the craft room. <clears throat> so that's that. Oh, I've one more. This has been here for ages. This is another Christmas sock.
which I have knit, blocked, I've not sewn the ends in, but it was a test knit that I did last year and I've just never got around to doing the second sock. So this is the Christmas at Bridgerton pattern by Twinset and Pearl. I used a colour by <coughs> Hedgerow Yarns, this was Mrs Claus. It was a sock set but I didn't have enough of the red that came with it to finish it so this was a red out of my 2020 2020 advent calendar from the fiber fox i don't know what the color's called but i don't think she does them separately anyway so yeah this is not even in a project bag it's just sat on the side um i think i just need to cast it on so it's it's there if i want to do it at the moment it's languishing I think I had the idea that I would finish it for this Christmas and then I didn't, so that's another one. Everything else is not on the needles, I think. I have lots of plans. If you've watched in the Vlogmas, I did do one episode which was my plans for this year. So we decided on the poll that I would do a Felix using this for my first new cast on, which I didn't do. I did the the poof, but that was an outstanding from last year. So this will be the next one cast on, but I think I need to finish something else before. If I finish off the magpie tendencies, I'll cast this on, promise. Okay. So this is some Wendy iron with wool. It, I mean, it should be a quick knit, but likewise, so was the so was the um, my pet tendencies. So that's all the whips. That's the big roundup. So hopefully, I will get some of those finished. I have a couple of um, not really acquisitions, but I got some knitty things for Christmas. So I'll show those now. Minnie got some, um, my daughter got some at Lego for Christmas and she made it all up and made a little scene and she wanted me to show it on here so I will pop that at the end if you want to see that. Um, but if you're not interested in the acquisitions then I will see you later but if you are then settle down for another, I'll try to be quick because we're already at 40 minutes so. Mm. So I got, first of all from my dad I got a new project bag which is from made by me lovingly by Gail Gail made by me I've not seen her before but it's a nice wax print colour um, print it's got a nice um, ring on the inside drawstring um, a nice spotty lining there we go, it's quite a nice size, good for a shawl or something, so that's that. Um, oh, my husband bought me, because I asked for it, I got a new Swift. So my Swift is good, but it always feels like it's going to break. So I wanted a nice wooden one. So this is by Knit Pro. A nice wooden one it looks like even if it broke it'd be easy to fix because it's just connected by little strings um i had a go with it it worked really nicely um so yeah i'm really pleased with that i did ask for some new like needles as well but i didn't get those so i might have to save up and buy them for myself um and the other thing knit related obviously got my mug from my sister i got some yarn from my sister-in-law which is i've not used this before this is the miller mia um soft aran extra fine merino sweden so she's got me that in six different colors Are. Damson Mia 
marine blue um, dusk uh, ochre sea green and meadow so they're 50 grams and there are 80 meters on each ball so once i've knit my felix with the other yarn i may use this to knit a stripy version and just get some contrasting cream or white or black or some other colour for like the cuffs and stuff and hopefully that should be enough I'll see how I go with that with that Felix and whether I need another colour or something but that was a nice gift it didn't come in this box I just put it in this box so that it's nice so that's that I don't think I've got anything else knitty, knitting related I got some lovely presents for other things so like that so that's it I'm not going to ramble on anymore because we've been on long enough um so aim of the day is to get some of these whips finished for next time um and then I'll be able to get some get that Felix cast on so what would you like to see me finish first that's the question of the day. Comment below what you'd like to see me finish first and um, I will crack on and try, and try and get that finished for next time. But no promises. I mean, I won't finish that cardigan for next time, I don't think. Unless I knit like the wind, which I can't do. So, that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And um, Happy New Year. Happy Knitting. And I will see you in two weeks' time. Here comes Minnie with her Lego show. Bye!